Bastards All Day, Bad Waves is a radio show based in reality, and the views and opinions of on-the-air personalities do not represent Q4 Radio and are solely for entertainment purposes. You see, this broadcast includes Bastards with Adult Language, Bastards with Adult Themes, and Bastards with Partial Nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Pete mother ass. So if you're a bitch nigga with pussy ass delicacies looming in your crusty ass from dangling participles and real shit, call the show directly or turn the channel. F you. Yo, 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 yo. Three minutes, three minutes. Yo, yo. Yo, I love bus chef from my heat. I leave against dead in the street. I run up in your crib, spit that where you sleep. Then I push you off the bed, get me from your freak. And I don't care if she horny tonight. I tell her hit the stash box, give me only the white. Make shells to crack heads against phony with pipes. And I ain't got no friends against phony and shites. For the rollies and nice, I fuck around and leave you holy as Christ. You want beef? Hell no. When I let them shells go, you leave you red as Elmo. Then let the air blow all in it. This shot breathe through like my 4 5 when I see. You put a hole in your face that the against can see through and turn your brains into seafood. Call it red lobster, lazy out of head mobster. If you a live beast, I make you a dead monster. Taking fed offers, snitching on the street, I'ma kill your punk ass. Now you sniffing in the street, you ain't know I had hitmen in the street. Remain calm, I'ma give your how it works. I got guns like James Bond, heat like Dragon, cause I light a flame on. Get it hot like the devil. I'm past scar face level, I touch more snow than shovels. Empty out, heavy metal, then reload. I got. Walk by the kilo, fiends hit the line like free throws. I rob it's like Debo, only one that hold out though. I get my money first before I throw out coke. Fuck junk, treat clickings like cigarettes. Light them up and blow out smoke. Then they stumble and drop. The street turns to get niches. They mumble the cops. He turns to get bitches. If they fumble the glock, you turn sweet when I hustle your block. Come through, wife beaters showing muscles and glocks. It gets hectic. Four five bus fuck. Walk like a detective. Only rob again. It's like my gun is a sexist, but I will Slap a bitch if I feel disrespected. Yo, I'm not going lie that this actually bad, but I still get more beats hooked in a maxi pad. Tell a freak, go ahead with a nasty. Yeah, I'm a beast, got holes on my meat. Get more head than grease. Get head when I'm awake. Get head when I'm asleep. And you just wanna pay attention, dog. I'm a creep like TLC. Now it's freestyle time, so I let it be free. Like Philadelphia Freeway. Again, Mr. H is the DJ. Splash, baby, you need a bath. And we're already getting a caller. What's the demo? All right. Here you come. You're on the air. Please keep it clean. What's uh, is that? That's uh, Dale Ruff right there. Rondell Moore is out of jail, out of prison, free on the land. We just played your song, Rondell. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm back at it like a crack addict, baby. Uh, that's What's right. You, bro? Oh, you know, acting a damn fool on a Thursday you on, on the radio. You good at it. You know I am. <laughs> I might as well have a degree in them uh, shiz Nathaniels. <laughs> uh, we call it foolology. All right. Uh, foolology. C. Murder once called it a foolion. <laughs> Okay, then yeah. Did you hear did you hear yourself? Did you hear your music? Nah, man, I know the music. It's cool. I want everybody else to hear it. Oh, uh, you ain't you just gotta you gotta click it, click the link, daddy. You out in Ohio, you can just click the link and then you can hear yourself bang all over the radio. We played that three minutes. Yeah. Hey yo, I love blood shit for my heat. I leave nish dead in the street. That's the radio edit. <laughs> hey, you, know, you, you know what's crazy, man? What's that? Man, that song's still hot, man. I wrote that about 
about 16 years ago. Oh, yeah, I know. It's wow. still hot. Yeah, I didn't know it was that old from listening to it. Yeah, timeless. Yeah. Ahead of its time. Okay, Rondell, you, you, like, yeah. you like some wine. And like and like the good mm-hmm. wine, not that three dollar Whole Foods wine that Derek and I like drinking. <laughs> Carlo Rossi. Oh uh, yeah, don't drink that stuff. I, I will. <laughs> I'll, I'm doing it today. <laughs> that's my Foolology bad. That's again. Why you, that, that's why you acting a fool. You drinking that three dollar wine? Oh no, man, I act a fool because in my three dollar mind. <laughs> 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 Well, Dale, we're going to have to, uh, the, huh? What's the, what's the topic for today, man? Oh, uh, it's a bunch of stuff. Actually, you know what? Since you just got out of jail, I'm going to do this while you're on the phone. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are, again, you are listening to Bad Waves. Uh, and now uh, let's go around the room and find out who's up in this piece. What's up? It's Derek. Hey, it's Amy Schwartz. And I am Warren Phoenix Johnson. Derek and Amy, the correct pronunciation of my name is... Yeah. Big yeah. Bad yeah. Warren, Warren Phoenix, Phoenix Johnson. Johnson. You guys like that? Like this guy. Hey, what's popping today is uh, the usual. We're going to hit y'all off with some of the news, a little news segment we like to call. You, you may have, because you may have heard it and you may have not. And then we're going to break y'all off with the Hakamon hookup. That's where we hook your ass up with a job lead. Come and get it, you mangy cats. And then we're going to have a little bit of romance <laughs> advice with our open forum where we take questions from Facebook and ask and answer them uh, on the air. And then we're going to close out with not trash talk, not trash talk, but prophecy from Derek Schleyline in his segment, Ayo What Man. And then we're going to close out with music. That's what's poppin' on the land, Dale. That's what we are doing today. Dale, lazy eye to yep. head mobster. If you a live beast, he'll make you a dead monster. Well, I don't do it. I don't do the romance, bro, man. <laughs> oh, stop lying. You you you, you missed the lover man Shaba. <laughs> nah, man. I, I grew up watching uh that guy from y'all's hometown. Uh, what's his name? The Bishop. Bishop Don Juan. Juan. You better know it. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, I heard I you. Him. I heard you before. Hey, I tell him. Hey, 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 Phoenix, I tell him, man, I'm sauced up and bossed up. If you're looking for a pimp, just follow the drip. You hear me? <laughs> wait for you to come up here and get on the air. You a fool. I, I, remember, I remember one time you told somebody, hey, look, if you like having sex, why don't you just get paid for it and hang out with me? <laughs> and she was like, well, I do like, man, no, Rondell, what you just <laughs> I was like, how the hell he do that? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to influence her in the right direction, man. You can do things, you know. It's not how you, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, better than so GPS. If you're doing it the wrong way, I can show you how to do it the right way. Oh, huh, okay. I see you out here, Daddy. I see you. I understand not the left hand, but the best hand. I got you. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's my pimp hand. Okay, I understand. All right, so we're going to let you go and uh, jump up into some of this music, Dale. Uh, thanks for calling in, and uh, please click the damn link. It's on your effing Facebook page. I call myself. Because people always do that. People be like, how do I click the link? You're looking at it. <laughs> you put your finger there, and you tap. That's all you got to do. I'm about to do that now, man. It was good talking to you on the show, man. Oh, it's always good talking hey. to you. Call in every Thursday. You free hey, now. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Ward. Yeah. And I just got to say this on air, man, because you're a one wonderful person, man. I'm really proud of you, man. Because, you know, you came up, man. You grew up with thugs and gangsters, man. And you made something positive out of your situation, man. That's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it is. A lot of people are not privy to that information, Dale. (laughs) (laughs) A lot of people only know one side of me, and that is my my media parents, my dad and his wife. Uh, So thank you for letting them. Everybody know how hood it got. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell any stories either, because you and I got some uh, some interesting. Mocking with a G here, pal. <laughs> you and I got some very hey. interesting street stories. So let's keep it. Let's keep it to just between hey. us. Yeah. And just to conclude, before I go, man, I'm starting a clothing line called Hood Legends, man. You got to give me the information of the neighborhood you grew up in. I'm doing this for people who came from rough neighborhoods and they made it out and succeeded in life, man. I'll put their put they face on the shirt, man. Hood Legend, their name and where they came from and the hood and their environment, you know. 
Uh, yeah, you're going to have to send me one of them. And I'm going to tell you, yeah, low end, low end, south side. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. me that. Yeah, low, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, you yeah. know me, though. I've been running around in, in weird neighborhoods uh, for a long time. Yeah, low, <laughs> low, low Ella Records. Yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, that's right. The low end gorillas was our crew. All right, it's far too much information, yeah. Dale. What you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You put me out there in the streets. If that's the case, what family <laughs> legacy? We were out of control back then. Trust us up. Trust us up. Remember we ran up in that guy's house that one day and he didn't want sauce with that? Well, anyway, that's a whole other story. All right, Dale, I'm going to have to let you go. Oh, I love you, bro. Oh, I love you too, brother. All right. Uh. Okay, now that you all know far too much information about me, uh, you are listening to <laughs> Bastards All Day, Bad Waves on 1680 AM, Q4 Radio, that's Q4.org. Derek, break them off. October skies, they ruin my mind, they ruin my mind. These October skies, they ruin my mind, they ruin my mind. These October skies, they ruin my mind, they ruin my mind. These October skies, they ruin my mind, they ruin my mind. Drowning in all of this liquor, drowning in all of it. I can't go back to the coal mine Think I'm appalling sick Time to get back to my homework Getting these rockets lit Blasting off into the sky Till they see me fly Till they see me Till they see me high Till they see me Till they see me fly those people were always so gracious Telling my daddy to let me be He ruined my mind, he ruined my mind He never indulge in my lechery Tell me my life is a fantasy Classic Shakespearean tragedy With fools that are witty and boys that are pretty And rulers with fancier jewels in me The top of the mountain they call him king he got a house and a golden ring He got a hawk with a silver wing Steal it and you will be worthy These October skies, they ruin my mind They ruin my mind These October skies, they ruin my mind They ruin my mind These October skies, they ruin my mind They ruin my mind these October skies, they ruin my mind, they ruin my mind Me and my homie, we ran to the stables We got on our horses and fled from the town The people were shouting our names all around They were calling us ghosts and calling us demons And calling us witches and calling us villains They want us be dead, they wish us be broken They wish us be gone for mortal emotion They hang us from trees, they put it online They lock us in chains, still put in a ride They spit in our food, body to soap Lock us inside, we lose our hope Spit in our food, body to soap Lock us inside, we lose our hope. These October skies, they ruin my mind, they ruin my mind. These October skies, they ruin my mind, they ruin my mind. If you don't know, now you do. You're listening to Bastards All Day. 1680 AM, Q4.org, Beloved Gay.
sorry about those uh, technical difficulties we had, but I'm a little happy about it because uh, Rondell said something about my personal business <laughs> that I don't want oh, none yeah, of y'all right. to know. Oh. So anyway, wow. we are into our <laughs> new segment, a little segment we like to call You, you May Have, because you may have heard it and you may have not. And kicking us, uh, kicking us off for the news like soccer cleats is Derek Slay Slay Lion. Slay all day. All right. Well, uh, the Country Music Awards were last night. Oh. Anybody mm-hmm. care? Not at all. Nope. Okay, great. Let's move on. <laughs> Somebody actually called me last night and was like, oh, I need to call you because I started watching the Country Music Awards and I was like, what am I doing? I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to stop themselves, I guess. The only thing, I was looking up news <laughs> items today and the only thing I saw was that, uh, like, apparently, I don't know who it was, but the first two leadoff people, like, made fun of Trump in their little oh. opening song. My friend did not tell me that. I don't yeah. know if you saw that. Yeah. I don't know how. They probably were just like he looks silly <laughs> 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 nothing uh, yeah i mean but but of course i always go to the haircut. country music awards for my hard-hitting political news <laughs> uh, but uh so my next item here we go everybody's gonna love this twitter is doubling their character limit to 280 characters Ooh. did you guys see this did you hear about this yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the president made some real changes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking they just want Trump to hurry up and get the nuclear Armageddon started early by giving him more room to, to talk. <laughs> I don't want I'm not going to. I saw my uh, a buddy of ours, uh, Joe Canale, posted. He was like, oh, I'm still only using 60. I don't yeah. want I'm not conforming yeah. to this nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, hold your ground. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm glad, too. I think this is great. It's fi- Twitter is finally giving the likes of a, uh, a Jake Paul or maybe a oh Subway restaurants the latitude to express their nuanced opinions in a more literary context. Uh, watch for more subtle imagery, subtext, foreshadowing, and literary flair from uh, Guy Fieri and Justin Bieber. Oh, as, as the world needs more <laughs> yeah, of that. that. <laughs> uh, Sister That's Schwartz? What I'm so this comes from HuffPost. An East Lansing Police Department stated they would post spoilers in the jail cells for the show Stranger Things. They tweeted this uh, as motivation for people to not end up in jail. <laughs> but later they claimed it was a joke. So I don't know. Um, oh, ha, 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 ha. The, uh-huh. indust- the industrial <laughs> prison <laughs> complex. Uh, yeah. Waka, yeah. waka, waka. They got waka, jokes. Waka. <laughs> they got jokes. <laughs> right? Got <laughs> No, that's, yeah, law, that's law enforcement is a joke, right, guys? Oh. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and nobody's laughing. <laughs> I mean, I kind of understand. East Lansing's a college town. They're probably sick of all the college shenanigans. That's a good oh, yeah. threat to, to keep a college kid out of jail. Maybe. Maybe these days. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't Holding a <laughs> Netflix <laughs> show over them. <laughs> Yeah, don't you wish you didn't fight in the mess hall that day? Wait, what? I shouldn't go and beat the crap out of this rival sport, rival sports fan, even though I'm drunk, because I might find out what happened on Stranger Things. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, really puts oh. things in perspective. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. <laughs> put Steve this and Dustin in. had a little storyline together. What? <laughs> oh no! Now I know this in advance. I shouldn't put this flaming bag of crap outside of someone's doorstep because I need to know what happens in the Upside Down. <laughs> <laughs> get out! Get out of here, Mom! <laughs> to quote John Hartman. Oh man, I really want to f- throw some actual Stranger Things spoilers out, but no, I won't. Don't I do won't. it. No, please don't. Uh-huh. I'm just gonna say that somebody gets in a little bit of hot water. I'll just leave it oh. there. Although I did post something this week because somebody, <laughs> you know, hot water. You know, somebody like you know died as they do in these type of shows. That's right. And I, and I remember uh, I yelled something and I was like, <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? And I posted. I was like, what are you yelling at? The television, and I quoted a Snoop Dogg interlude, and I was like, "Use a dead mother sucker now." <laughs> I was very pleased with him dying. Now, <laughs> I mean, some people just got it coming. You know what I mean? That's right. You just know who's gonna die sometimes when they like from their intro. Like if the guy comes in and he like shakes someone's hand, then it's like, "Oh, look how he shakes the it's hand." It's like the you know the the guy in wartime that gets a letter from his sweetheart like just you know and when they're in a dangerous situation like oh well he's clearly you know he's clearly a dead mother sucker now 
<laughs> All right. Uh, Sister, Sister Schwartz, you want to break us off again? Yeah. So we have uh, this time from The Independent. Richard Browning, a British inventor, set a record for the fastest time in a jet suit at 30 miles, 32 miles per hour. So he's like in an Iron Man suit. Yeah, like an Iron Man suit. A, a, real, ro- a real rocket man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we're having, we're having wow. a presidential <laughs> broadcast <laughs> today. Yeah. Uh, and then he, then he promptly fell into the lake. Uh, so oh, nice. This really? is all this morning, yeah. So he didn't wow. stick the landing. No, no, I don't know how he landed. The landing stuck him is what it sounds like. Yeah, what, miles an hour. If you're like, have rockets on you, you can't just turn them off. Yeah, yeah I don't know <laughs> if they figured out the landing yet. I know they've talked about ramps for squirrel suits to land on, but I jet, <laughs> I don't know. Do happy. people have too much time and intelligence? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, do those two meet at mm, rocket suits? Yeah, how do they have the time? Maybe, you know, his other inventions took off. Literally. I, I, <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, uh, oh! <laughs> All right. All right, Derek, break us off. Uh, so a flight in Qatar, uh, Qatar, uh, was forced to make an emergency landing after a woman discovered her husband was cheating on her mid-flight. Whoa, mid-flight. So apparently the husband fell asleep and his wife uh, used his fingerprint on his hand while he was asleep, like gently picked up his hand to put his fingerprint on the phone, looked at his home screen on the phone, somehow determined that that uh, meant that he was cheating on her. And uh, according to differing differing, uh, reports, she either started hitting him or was screaming at him enough that the flight crew could not control her and they had to make an, a landing, I believe, in India. Whoa. She should have got arrested for that. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Right? See, at first I thought you meant mid-flight he was cheating on. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll be if something else, out. yeah. I got to go to the bathroom, baby. I'll be right <laughs> back. <laughs> Comes back smelling Ooh. like all type of uh, <laughs> musty free coal. <laughs> no. Ooh. That would be rough. But yeah, I mean, it's a flight. You can't, you can't be grounded flights. But yeah, it is rough, you know, when someone gives you bad news and you have to go say hi and put on your face in front of everybody, you know, like... Someone insults you and then rings the doorbell and the door opens and you're like, ah, oh, hey. I was in that relationship. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was in that relationship. Like, I remember walking into one of the venues where we do our little comedy at and, and homegirl was like, and this is why you are like how you are. Oh, yeah, well, fine. Well, you know how you are. We about to go up in here and I, I want to tell you how you are. Bing bong. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we have a great show tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, honking your clown nose coming out like, whoa. <laughs> like, that literally has happened on a couple of occasions with that young lady. I was, I remember being backstage and getting a text message being like, when you come home, my stuff will be gone. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. setting in pictures of your stuff on fire. <laughs> and then somebody comes back and maybe like a Kate Friedman, shout out to Kate Friedman, teachers uh, premiered this week. Uh, yes. Kate Friedman came in the back. She's like, hey, you're on. And I was like, what? I, oh, all right. Welcome to the second city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we want to get nuts. <laughs> Come on. Uh, we got jokes and yeah. jokes and yeah. jokes and my girlfriend's so breaking up with me. So what is the deal with this truck I guy? I mean, he's <laughs> <laughs> That's why I started turning my phone off when I go in. Like, I'm like, not going to check a crazy yeah, text before walking on. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, hey, hey, dance now. <laughs> I always wonder. I mean, like, yeah, even like the most innocuous talk show hosts, like your your Jimmy Fallon's, maybe your Jay Leno's throughout history. You know, who knows what the hell's going on in their personal life? They could just have like the most outrageous yep. turmoil going on behind the scenes. And they're going to be like, oh, man. And uh, this this Trump guy's a, a real goof, huh? Like, oh, hey. I, I saw a scene in a Jackson 5 movie <laughs> where Je- Michael Jackson was crying before he got on stage. And then Joe was like, you're Michael Jackson. You are the Michael Jackson. Get out there. And he goes out and people start cheering. And he's just like, can it be I stayed away too long? Ooh. Oh, ben. <laughs> ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't get me started on Ben. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the classic. Team me up. Team me up. Uh, so, do we have everything? We do we? Uh, are we ready? Or, or do you guys have? Yeah, I th- believe that that'll do it. All right, then it's uh, time for me to let me hear you go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for my part of the news. Now, this is very hard-hitting news. This is very provocative, controversial news. Critically disclaimed news. And I don't just go to any news source. No, no. WGN. I don't go to CBS or PBS or ABCDFG. I go to one place and one place only. That's WorldStarHipHop.com. WorldStar. Let's get into it. 
a woman attempts to open a man's iPhone 10 with his face recognition as he sleeps. Uh, see, there you go. Yeah, uh, much uh, like that other story. Fingerprinting, yeah. face recognition. This is yeah. Now she bad pulls, news for cheaters. She pulls the covers from over his face to find he's wearing a black mask. <laughs> <laughs> now she further investigates, pulling said mask from his face to find that his face is wrapped in plastic, what looks like saran wrap, and it made his face look like a melted wine candy. <laughs> now he awoke squealing, you trying to open my iPhone? <laughs> now either this dude has something to hide or his girl frequently steals late night fellatio from him. <laughs> like Reynolds wrap keeps the edible safe no matter what you eating. You know what I'm saying? Uh, moving along. My man. <laughs> Papa John's was recently dubbed the pizza of hate by the Daily Stormer, an alt-right website. That's now the right. neo-Nazis praise uh, Papa John for standing to the kneeling NFL players. Uh, now what I heard was the white agenda said, oh yeah, they said they were standing up against the white agenda from having a problem with the NFL kneeling. I had that joke so much better written. <laughs> Now, the CEO, owner, uh, CEO and owner John Shatner claims that the NFL not nipping this protesting stuff in the bud last year is what causes his third quarter sales to drop this year. Now, the Daily Stormer took that as, uh, as com took his comments as a zig hail to the white man <laughs> and proclaiming that that is the pizza of their party, assuming they'll want them to cater their pizza parties. Now, Papa John <laughs> released a statement saying, we condemn in all forms and and all hate groups that support uh, hate. And they do not want individual groups to buy their pizza. They don't want they don't want the racists buying their pizza. Now I translated this statement to the to uh, the, the statement that they made to the alt-right as Nucka please. <laughs> so uh, and that's spelled N-U-K-K-K-A. No. Please. Oh. <laughs> what about, I mean, wouldn't it just be because his pizza sucks that he's not selling so much of it? Right. I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem oh, with I, it. I mean, I've eaten it. I've no. eaten it. Too much sugar in the sauce. Sauce is very sweet. <laughs> I, had to, oh. I had to give him some feedback. Sounds like you're a professional <laughs> <laughs> uh, culinary <laughs> opinion. Wow. Over I mean, there. I thought uh, this was along the lines of uh, when the like the neo Nazis claimed the New Balance shoes were the right. official uh, like white power shoe. Did New Balance <laughs> speak up against it? They did. They said that they don't agree with that. <laughs> but I guess like that's the funny thing is like all these like sort of groups can just claim like tag that like oh that's that's the thing now that we like, which is weird. <laughs> it's just like uh, oh yeah that. Uh, Garth Brooks is now the official uh, classic country artist of the the uh, white supremacists. Like he could be like, no, I'm not. But they're like, yeah, you are. We we said we got you. We claimed you. Like, how do they do that? You can't yeah, just put you hate just, on somebody. You just <laughs> say it. You just like I, that's mine. Yeah. <laughs> well, Papa John made a statement though about that, about disagreeing with the NFL. He, yeah, he he claimed the NFL, all the protests and kneeling were what was responsible for him losing profits. <laughs> so he kind of said some dirty stuff uh, that they approved of. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. I mean, so yeah, he kind of put himself out there, but then they retracted that and, right, and right. condemned those groups. And again, as I said, they said Nucka, please. That's in, <laughs> in you, triple K A. Nucka, Nucka, please. I am not on that pizza hate. All right. Uh, so, I really wish I'd have got that joke a lot better the first time. All right. Uh, you did Den great. Denmark's minister of immigration runs over an immigrant attempting to stop his car from departing. Oh, jeez. Needless to say, his policy uh, hit more than a bump in the road. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, feel it. A man lost his life for that joke, Warren. No, he's still alive. Oh, okay. He made it. No, no. Oh, no. well, then carry on. <laughs> In that case, that is hilarious. Hey, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. So anyway, a woman approaches a man at a gas station asking for a dollar. She said she's not a bum. She's Jesus Christ. Ah. Yes. She asked, do you believe I'm Jesus Christ? The man shakes his head. No, she replied. Then I won't let you in, B word, because I joined oh. the other side. Morning, gasoline. Morning gasoline. 
mean? Uh, after whatever that was, she said, <laughs> he asked, do you believe me now? And then she said, F you B word. <laughs> or she, that was her poignant retort. <laughs> that woman flipped quicker than John McCain's thumb on the Republicans new health care bill. Oh, <laughs> like she flipped harder than a Jesse White Tim Tumblr's gym shoe <laughs> on a pissy mattress whilst impersonating Stone Cold's fingers during the WWE's iconic attitude era. Apparently the drug she was on, whatever drug she was on, had the side effects of crooked politician. Cause she flipped quick, all right? If you smell it, that's a WWE reference. Um, <laughs> Any questions? Speaking of the WWE, that was once the WWF, you know, the World Wildlife Fund or Federation. Uh, there was a moose recorded on uh, World Star, released in the, to the wild from captivity. It uh -huh. was so touching that he was released. And upon his release, he began to kick the crap out of his captor. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. That moose didn't. Respect, respect, respect. <laughs> that moose didn't give a buck while giving multiple bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, in other news, Tyrese cries and twerks in his kitchen. Uh, interestingly enough, I'm wow. sure many other baby mothers have as well. So, <laughs> uh, yes, Tyrese, that's all you get. <laughs> and lastly, in documented idiocy. My favorite. A, a deputy is caught stealing incriminating evidence against his department uh, in, in court, on camera, <laughs> in front of the judge. <laughs> This was caught. He was absolutely caught doing this. Now, what I'd like for this deputy to do is Tell put his fingerprints on incriminating evidence, uh -huh. pull hair from himself and sprinkle it on a crime scene. There you go. Leave his wallet in a murdered man's hand. And? And before he is arrested for any of these crimes, I'd like for him to suck, suck it, cop, cop man! man. Got him. <laughs> you can't steal stuff in front of the people that you're stealing from while you in court for said crime. <laughs> Why wouldn't you know this? You're a police officer. Oh my goodness, you're right, Derek. Like Derek said earlier, the legal system is a joke. <laughs> All right, uh, cops be better criminals, please. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're leaving a bad example. Try to deceive someone. I mean, really. I mean, you, it's a bad example. They worse than the dudes that planted the drugs on somebody on camera. Like, y'all yeah, yeah, like, gotta like, do better, police, okay? <laughs> stop killing black people and stop incriminating yourselves while committing crimes. I mean, I, 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 not that uh, I yeah, know maybe, anything about yeah, it. I don't maybe know. Maybe one of those more than the other. I mean, they, I mean, they gotta be something. You gotta, you gotta make some changes out here. Uh, oh, by the way, shout out to uh, Dale Ruff and his new clothing line, Hood Legends, I believe it was, where he'll take someone's face and give them a shout out on a show shirt and uh, do some designs or whatever that's something that uh, got lost earlier and uh, oh, that's right that other thing that got lost will stay in the ether <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen when we come back we're gonna hit y'all off with the hakamon hookup that's when we hook your ass up with a job lead come and get it you mangy cats <laughs> but before that we're about to jump up into some of this music you are listening to bastards all day bad waves on 1680 a.m q4 radio that's q4.org Derek, break us off Stevie Ray glasses. Why 
white van diesel on the road Wear it on my feet, your boy is off of the wall Cheese bagel, eat it with free fago Any meal without the mayo is boring like plain kale School's out, I'm acting a fool now I've been cutting up in class, they saying I'm too loud Well, forget I'm too proud, forget I'm too lit Loving up on this crowd, I'm loving the new relationship forum. If you hear anything interesting here, give a call in at 312-985-7834. That's 312-985-7834. That number again? 312-985-7834. Call in. We'll do live questions for you. Yes, we will. But before we do that, and we can interrupt these things, believe it or not, we have taken improv classes. Uh, We we could improvise. (laughs) So feel free to call in at any time during this segment. Uh, So, but normally we put questions out on uh, or we bet for questions out on Facebook and people send us their questions and we try our best to answer them. Uh, John S. sends in a question asking, in the world of texting emojis, etc., how can you truly be sure that someone is flirting with you via text without asking directly? Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Amy? <laughs> I'm probably the worst person to answer that. When's the last time you've been Ooh. like text flirting? Text flirting. It's tough because you don't want to call somebody out and be like, are you flirting with me? And then they're like, no, right. we're friends. What? It just destroys <laughs> yeah. the whole Yeah, yeah. yeah. So momentum. I understand the not wanting to call them out. But mm. you also don't want to have some kind of confusion either. But I don't know. I want, are they, can you tell from this, are they into it or not into it? What can I tell from their text? Are they flirting with someone or me? Yeah. Do you <laughs> <have>? <laughs> no, uh, I don't know if he's into it or not, uh, but... I don't know. I could say that in this like texting stuff, the best thing to do is take it, man. Like, so if it's like, if it seems like somebody flirting with you, then, you know, yeah. they, they, they call you bae, call you boo, you give it right back to them. And if they're like, what are you doing? Then you know, oh, wait, I didn't mean for you to take it right. that way. You know what I'm saying? I think if there's any chance that it is flirtatious, then they're probably flirting with you. Uh, but you don't, you don't want to go like proportionally overboard in response. So, you know, match their level. And then they might bump it up a little bit, and then you can, you know, how oh, slowly, slowly yeah, sort of up the ante. Up the ante. Unless, the unless there's like, you know, you're just feeling it and you're vibing it, you know, go for it. But you don't want to run the risk of like just being like, whoa, what the hell was that? Like getting cut off. So, 
gradually turn up the temperature on the whole thing. That's what I say. Or you could do like my dear friend Shaba does, man. Just, you know, you get a text message that seems like someone's flirting with you. Boom. Take a picture of your peenie. Send that on over. <laughs> yeah. Send that on over. Yeah. <laughs> you can draw a line in the sand right away if you want. You know <laughs> what I mean? like, You need to know immediately. Like, there hey, I, <laughs> I like your smile. Boom. Here's my Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Dingling! All right, uh, that won't get you on a list. <laughs> Different kind of recognition software. That's next, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you guys seen this uh, new recognition software? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Siobhan C, uh, who usually actually has pretty adult questions, ask: uh, How does a woman inspire a man to pursue his mission in life? Ooh. She always has like grown up questions. That's that does sound good. She's an adult. Amy, do you have a way to inspire a man to find his mission? Question of the world. (laughs) I I I, I would say who knows, but anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Who knows? (laughs) I mean, being believe it or not, I've been a man for like ten minutes, and um, I I personally think sex. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I mean? You throw that snap, okay. snap right. the nappy po pappy, get me happy. You know what I mean? I mean, I wow. can't. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> what? Stretch it out like Laffy Taffy. <laughs> this is how I feel, straight up and down. Like if you. How long have you been a man? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, maybe five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, but I can't lie to you though. I'm keeping it 100. Like hey, I've been All in right. relationships before, and uh, a young lady uh, can can throw that. You know what I mean? Throw that wave at you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Gut, you know the the, the g- gushing passion walls. <laughs> uh, you know, ask you. Uh, uh, you know that young that young geyser so say as they say. Uh, uh, no, no one says, says that. that. No <laughs> one says that. By the way, <laughs> that's what they're saying. <laughs> kids, yeah, kids are saying that. No one's saying oh, that. Uh, my future kids will be saying that. <laughs> Mommy's. It'll be required. <laughs> <laughs> it will be. It will be. <laughs> you know, I'm yeah. not gonna go any further with that. Day. <laughs> but um, no, I can't lie to you, man. Sex do a lot. Sex do a whole lot. Like, I, 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 it can be a very serious motivator. I mean, uh, yeah, for sure. I bet. I bet you somebody who don't have a job and they in the freaking this one person, but they mm-hmm. don't want to go get a job. If she says, "Yo, no more uh, 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 um, abyss of lust." For you, young man, I bet you he'd get his ass up and run right down to Papa John's because he heard that they values are a lot different than other places. <laughs> and I bet you he's going to go down there and get that job. I'm telling you, I don't know. Uh, I yeah. would say, oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was going to say positive reinforcement, you know, encouragement. I don't know. Oh, so you're agreeing with me. This is what I'm talking <laughs> about, Amy. I'm talking I don't know. About. Isn't that negative reinforcement, though? You're just like, that's yeah, that's yeah, punishment that instead of reward, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, well, then she sure. could be, maybe. Like, I don't she could be like, there's more where this coming from if you go get a job. I mean, like, encourage them like to believe in themselves maybe you know to right yeah yeah why they sexing <laughs> yeah, yeah just be yeah. like oh god you're the best i've ever had uh how about <laughs> how are those job leads like during in the middle of the act <laughs> yeah oh yeah or you could be like oh oh, oh yeah you type, you type 32 words per minute baby you can get that receptionist job like you did i'm telling y'all about sex <laughs> <Yeah>. man <laughs> i'm telling you i've heard some things that have got me motivated in life uh during the process uh derek you gotta I don't know. I'm, I mean, that's a that's it's a it's a motivator for sure. But I would say, you know, like there's got to be a way that you know the, your partner, any partner, supports you for your your vision of your life. And if you don't find that with someone, that might not be a good relationship. Like you know, I mean, all of us are sort of performance comedian minded people. I don't think anyone would get along very well with the other person being like, ditch that comedy crap. It's going nowhere. Get a job in my dad's right. company and be like this. Um, so I think, yeah, you got you to gotta have your values in line with somebody else's a little bit mm-hmm. to inspire them towards uh, fulfilling their, what may be called their destiny. And nice. if that doesn't work, you know, deny them the, uh, the, the loving stuff. <laughs> yeah. huh? That poonanny. <laughs> I'm not as good as the like juvenile slang as you. But <laughs> what do you mean juvenile? This is not juvenile. <laughs> this is how adults talk. I told you I'm a man. <laughs> freak hole. Yes, musty freak hole. This is the second week in a row, if not the third, where I have had to uh, elucidate on how to how to re- yeah, talk yeah. about um, adult novel language. Thank yeah. you. It's Derek. like Fifty Shades of Grey, <laughs> but, yeah. but like the Hustler magazine version. Well, thank you very much. That's just like Hustler that. magazine, right? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Yes, all right, let's move right along. (laughs) Jared L. asks, should men be rewarded for being faithful? I think faith is its own reward. (laughs) (laughs) Reward? Whoa! (laughs) 
Uh, Sister Schwartz, what do you think? Rewarded how? I uh, I don't I don't think extra he, twenty dollar bonus every month. I don't think no, I don't. <laughs> like my daddy used to say when I came home with good grades and I wanted you know a, a magnet earring. He says to me, son, you shouldn't be rewarded for what you're supposed to be doing. Chris Rock even said yeah, for that. What they're supposed to do? What you're supposed to do? You want a yeah. cookie? You want a cookie because you ain't cheat on your girlfriend? No, actually, I'm gonna have to go out and say no. Men should not be rewarded for this. That and. In the same token, I feel that uh, no matter what the gender is, I feel like you shouldn't be making your sp- whoever you're messing with feel like they're doing something wrong. I, I, you know, and mm-hmm. sometimes I think it's cute. You know, I mean, every <laughs> once in a while I do. <laughs> like on, on my television, I have the you know the Chromecast, and it like cycles through people in our in the uh, Bass the Underground. By the way, the Improv Team Bass the Underground. That's us. Uh, you can catch us at the Laugh Factory every third Thursday. That's next week. Uh, that's next week uh, in Crossbreed Comedy, hosted by the. Matt Shadamonte. Just, uh, just putting that out there. But um, no, uh, Chromecast. Yeah, on the Chromecast, uh, a young lady's picture comes up. Aaron Land's face comes up. So before Aaron Land's face comes up, you know, uh, she sees people that she knows, and she's like, That's "Oh, a lady friend that you had over." Yes, yeah, yeah. lady friend I had over, and she goes, "Oh, I know them from the show." And I was like, "Yeah," but Aaron hasn't performed with us in a while, and she comes up and she goes, "Who is that?" And I was like, oh, Aaron Land, she's in the show too. Why, why did you ask like that? I was like, well, it's a very nice picture. It's a modeling picture that pops up on your television. And I was like, yeah, that's my friend who I perform with. Now, I find that to be, I, I thought that was kind of cute. But something I don't find cute is when somebody grabs your phone and be like, hey, uh, how you open this up? I want to see uh, r- yeah. to run your last interaction with Annie Donnelly. I may have dated. I may have just dated. Somebody may be able to connect the dots on who I date and who I don't. But Annie Donnelly sent me a very nice text message. But this person only read one line of it and she threw right. my phone across the room. She's like, you know, Annie said, I love you. And the next line was, you and blank should come out with Joey and I to dinner. Like that, she didn't read that. I was like, why didn't you read that part? It's like, oh, don't try to fix it now. I didn't fix Nothing it. Fix. Yeah. <laughs> You're crazy. I think people should appreciate the fact that their their uh, significant others are faithful. Uh, appreciation is not the same as reward. I don't think you know mm-hmm. there should be no bonus for it. And also, you know, if you even have feelings like maybe I'm not like as excited about this thing that I used to be like that's the stuff that has to come up mm-hmm. or else you're looking at like a real long quiet relationship for the next couple years uh, where you resent each other and just like you know stalemate also relationships aren't like happy meals you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't yeah. get a free toy in there because you <laughs> opened the box. <laughs> no, you're supposed to open the box and eat the food. And you and, and that's a double entendre of Winky. <laughs> yeah. Open that box and eat the food. Oh, happy meal right here. Yeah. There's that wow, yeah. mature <laughs> content that Derek loves. Respect. Respect. Uh, Love right. it. Mm. All right. Finally. The dignity of this podcast. <laughs> finally, uh, our dear friend Tirza Skasha, beloved, beloved, beloved. She asked, what's the best way to get rid of a leech? Now, I asked her, are you talking about a, like an actual leech or something? Are you doing a bit? And she goes, no, a person a person who uses you but is never around when you need them. Ah. Uh, and uh, since I'm already talking, <laughs> and, and much like an empty stage during an improv show, uh, dead air kills me. Uh, uh, so that's why I rang the bell just so when I shut up, I could not have dead air. Uh, by the way, Derek has got uh, a plethora of sound stings over there. <laughs> <That's right>. Whoa! <laughs> You've heard that one, but <laughs> just, there's plenty of this. Uh, but no. Try to up. Try to us up. I, I did, in fact, set you, you just up. Set me up. I did. I did, in fact, do that. 312-985-7834, by the way. So, uh, yeah, stop giving them the stuff that they expect. You yeah. know what I mean? If somebody expects you to pay for this and do that, stop. And then watch how quick that argument come up. You know what I mean? Stop. I don't know. You know, if you like opening the box up and eating the chicken nuggets, close the box. Don't eat the chicken nuggets. And you see what happens if the person don't get their chicken nuggets eaten. You know, whatever it is they're taking. If you give rides. I dated a young lady who expected rides from me. One day I was like, oh, I'm not giving you a ride. And she quickly made an argument. Quickly was just like, well, you know what? You don't want to give me a ride? I don't like the amount of time you spend with your friends. Your <laughs> friend, the way what are you talking? How do those two even correlate? Like, why, yeah, yeah. why are you doing that? So, like, if somebody, if you feel like somebody's, you know, taking advantage of you, stop giving them the thing that they that they are taking right. from you. Yeah, it's and good to give, but if all they do is take, you don't have to give anymore. You don't you know? have to. They're and, not. And you'll know in a short time too. You'll be like, mm-hmm. oh, 
I don't know, generally like three strikes sort of policy, I guess. So like, oh, well, I oh. did this for you. You didn't do it for me. You know, three times constitutes a trend. Uh, it, it really does. Um, and something that's going to sound really horrible <laughs> that, I'm, that has never stopped me before. <laughs> um, not related to sex talk. Not related to sex talk. Um, if somebody... If you're messing with somebody and you notice these things, but you still want to keep messing with them, I say keep messing with them. Let them keep doing whatever they're doing. <laughs> Go ahead. Let them get over. If you still want to mess with them let, and let them, and you bring it up to them and they don't see it the same way, keep messing with them then. Fine. Accept it. Especially if you call yourself loving them, accept it because you got to accept all of something. Oh, wait. There's a last question, too. But <laughs> but keep, but like, anybody else want to keep talking about this one? No. I'm, I mean, I, I think. I mean, if you accept, you got to know what you're getting into, though. You know, you don't want to. You don't yeah. want to hurt yourself. And the, yeah, I mean, if they're like, I borrowed your car and I like hit three people and the cops are after me, help. Like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> whoops. Like, yeah, that's uh, that's like a, probably an extreme example. But, you see, know. See the type of girls Derek <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I forgot to, that Taisha, Taisha G, uh, shout out to Taisha, I believe she's listening, maybe. Uh, she's hanging out with Rondell right now. Um, I hope I didn't just put his business in the street. <laughs> yeah, this is a- Rondell telling me, he's like, I'm with my kids. <laughs> he probably is. Uh, <laughs> the incrimination hour with Warren Phoenix Johnson. Oh my goodness, I just snitched. Uh, <laughs> and I try so hard not to, you have no idea. Uh, so Taisha asked, what is love? What is it? What is it? I mean, I like I think I touched on it a bit. It's acceptance. If that person yeah. is a leech, then and but you love them anyway, then you gotta accept their leechness. You know, if because what it is is that it speaks to you. You know, what I mean, if this person, and and I'm definitely thinking of an example. If this person drops a, a serious fart in your studio apartment, <laughs> you know what I mean, and that bad boy drops like a bomb, hits like a hammer. You know what I mean? You got to understand that what that came up out of them. That came up out of So you got to love that, too. If, how you love that? You know what I mean? That's how I feel. Well, uh, or accept it. Or accept it. But, you know, yeah, you got to accept it. But you also you also can love it straight up. I was like, boy, that really stank. I love it. I love that you are a person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Smells like Thai food. Uh, oh, <laughs> what? It was de- it was delicious food. You guys like that? Sh- <laughs> like this guy? <laughs> and so that's how that's what I think love is accepting all of them, and, and also love is also being able to attempt to work through it, mm-hmm. work through whatever is the problem. And if you two can do that, then y'all do have something special. You do have a, a love for one another. If y'all can't do that, then somebody giving more or somebody loving more, and, and the other person ain't ain't really getting down with it. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's that's what love is to me, you know. Uh, and when I say accept it, I mean they uh, they ugly they ugly ass uh, cousin who <laughs> who don't like your mac and cheese. You know what I mean? Like they don't like the, that your mac. Well, guess what? That person is related to them. That also applies to dusty ass kids that they may have. <laughs> you know what I mean? Little Pookie like to climb in the bed with his dookie ass draws while y'all up in there. Well, guess what? You gonna have to like little Pookie Dookie. That's what love is. Or at least pretend to. Or at least pretend <laughs> to like his little peasy-headed ass. You know damn well that's not your kid. That's not your kid. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you got to accept Pookie. All right? You also got to accept, like, why the hell is his name Pookie in this day and age? <laughs> Pookie? That's the same name of the Chris Rock crackhead. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you got to accept all that. God does not like ugly, man. <laughs> no, him don't. Uh, uh, no. I was going to say, I mean, love is many things. Uh mm-hmm. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, no, uh, <laughs> no. Uh, I think you have different types of love. Some people have b- still believe in unconditional love. Some people, like, there's love with conditions for them. Like, the way that, you know, uh, you might love uh, relatives or friends that might even try to take advantage of you. Or, you know, you, you, you know the way to keep them at a distance enough that it's not going to hurt you ultimately. But that means there's conditions to your love. So there's conditional love sometimes which can still work for some people, but then there's unconditional love, which, you know, it's a harder case to be made for that everyone has absolutely no conditions for love. But, uh, you know, I think I think it can happen, but that's the, the uh, fully accepting, like, everything about that other person, and, like, maybe you just don't care. Like, I stole your car and ran over a couple people, and you're like, so? <laughs> my, my ex-girlfriend tried to set me on fire 
stayed with her like a year and a half after that. <laughs> I love you, boo. Love you. I, I used to. But <laughs> yeah, I definitely remember the fire point. is one of my conditions, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Unconditional. <laughs> I don't one. care. I don't care if we dying out here. All right, I died for this. Bittersweet. Okay, the captain went down with the ship. <laughs> Live long and prosper. <laughs> fire is the like original relationship deterrent. <laughs> as old as as old as fire. <laughs> Amy, you've I been think, quiet. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's all about supporting each other and encouraging each other. Love does have many different different ways it's expressed. There's different languages of love. There's and then there's you know like you said, loving your family or friends is different you know than a relationship, but. Love is romantic love. Yeah, yeah, love is pushing each other through the hard times too, and sometimes pushing each other. Sometimes love can just be tough. But My also support. Yeah, yeah, you get through it. I d- yeah, tell someone. But yeah, the there are some uh, there are some deal breakers, <laughs> right? Like uh, violence. I'm out. <laughs> like, oh, come on, fire. you don't know about love. specifically. You don't know about yeah. real love. There's, uh, there's, you know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> ain't no real loving. <laughs> My ex-girlfriend told me if I didn't lose weight, she would leave me. I still loved her for it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and, and you bet you're getting a little picture into the, the, <laughs> the window of the man today. Oh, my goodness. You, you get to <laughs> see my life for real. Uh, straight up. And you, and you bet your sweet pippy Fire, I dropped 68 fitness. pounds. Yeah. I dropped 68 pounds. She put me. She actually put me all together, man. I, I'm, in the, I'm in the fitness now because of her. Oh. Yeah. And, and, you know, she, she used to come back every once in a while, too. Slide right back in my DMs. I think yeah, maybe it, it, it's not all it's not all one thing all the time. You don't always get everything you need out of it, and it's not always just clearly black and white. Like oh, this is good, this is bad. Maybe someone comes at you with fire, but they also like taught you how to do sit ups. So you're like, okay, that's a wash. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You sound a lot better than my family did when I told them about this. Three one two nine eight five seventy eight thirty four. That will do it for our open forum relationship segment. Uh, right. So we're gonna keep this train dead ass on the tracks. Uh, again, that number is three one two nine eight five seventy eight thirty four. When we return, we're gonna hit y'all off with a yo what man Derek Slayline segment. Again, you are listening to Bastards All Day Bad Ways on sixteen eighty AM Q four Radio. That's Q four dot org. Derek, break us off. You're listening to Bastards All Day. All day, all day. Bad Ways on 1680 AM, Q4.org. Beloved Gang, baby. Ooh, beloved Gang. All day, all day. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Derek Slay Slay All Day Slay Line segment. Hey, yo, what, man? Now, that is when Derek sees something on a street corner in the news and makes him do a double take like a black man in an 80s movie seeing martial arts happen in front of his face for the first time and make him say, hey, yo, what, man? Hey, what was that? How the hell he get his leg up that high? How come Daniel LaRusso gets stronger when he puts a bandana on? Hey, Ernie Reyes Jr. was an Take it away. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that was uh, <laughs> that was pretty good. Thanks. I'm trying to make up for <laughs> pass and discretion. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I know I talk a lot about social media, a little bit about consumerism and uh, and that kind of stuff. Uh, so I think this uh, AO what is sort of a perfect storm of stuff that I hate, and that is uh, Black Friday is coming up. Oh snap! Right. How do you guys feel about Black Friday? Love it? I I, I typically refer to it as African American Friday, but <laughs> other than that, I you know I'm okay with it. I just don't, <laughs> yeah, I just don't like the idea of us all like going to stores and like kind of being violent with each other and right. people kind of going crazy over things. But in the same token, I like stuff cheap. Right. <laughs> We're like the cheap is great. Do you know how delicious free food is? <laughs> So that's that, better. Yeah, so that's that's my thing. 
All right. Yeah. I mean, I, I can, I suppose I can agree with that. And it's not like I'm never going to buy anything ever again or like consumer goods don't like give me some amount of satisfaction. But I just think the way that Black Friday operates now is just the most disgusting example of uh, people that are sort of socially, culturally, and spiritually bankrupt. Wow. <laughs> yeah. See, I think the corporations make a spectacle out of the people. So I, I don't support it. But I understand if you're broke, your kid needs a laptop to go to college. Get, get a cheap early, one that day. Wait out. Like, if you're in a situation where you need something that's offered, I'm not going to hate on people going out and right. get it. But the okay. people that don't need it and they're just out there to fight and get crazy and they get the adrenaline rush off of it and they're into <laughs> yeah. it. Like, I know there's people like that who can afford things, but they want to get out there and get crazy. It's like, get a hobby. Yeah. You know. I think, uh, you know... Learn karate. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just think that it's like the, the thing I was talking about with the Rick and Morty Szechuan sauce and the fights and the, the whining and the uh, sort of cultural identity pinned on some sort of fandom of something. Uh, I feel like it happens with consumer goods, too. It's just like, this is my TV that I love more than, you know, life itself, and I'm going to snatch it out of the hands of an old lady uh, next to me at Walmart, and I'm going to, like, bust through, break the glass through the doors before the, uh, you know, the protective shield even gets all the way up. Like, this is just, like, you, you gain no uh, credibility for wanting something. You can't really place your identity on being like I'm a I'm a Sony TV owner. Like look at that. Like it, it, it offers you nothing ultimately. It's a cool gizmo. It's a cool like consumer good that you have. But if you're like hanging your identity on what you're buying, it's the same as hanging your identity on like the fandom of something. Like you know, I love I love Stranger Things, so therefore I'm like. I'm rewarded in some way. I ought to be socially rewarded in some way. I don't get what's happening. It's sort of, uh, it's, it's to me, in the, especially in the age of social media where video of this stuff spreads so quickly, uh, yeah, we just see the, the worst instincts of people being played out and it becomes sort of uh, this, you know, cycle of spectacle and consumerism that just, uh, it just makes everybody look bad and it brings out the worst instincts in people. Um, 